case you hadn't heard, Sunday, last kick, last game of the weekend, the Premier League. A little game over in Manchester's taking place. City are taking on Liverpool. What it's, game? It's massive. Now listen, I've heard both managers say, and they've been very. It's always very interesting listening to the pre-match uh, press conference managers because they, they, they're under so much pressure. At the same time, they're, they're very relaxed in the job they do, but they know how big the game is. And the question is always going to be: Is this going to be a title decider? And as far as I'm aware, I've listened to both. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure Klopp said it. I don't remember Pep said it, but I think both have alluded to it, saying that it's not a title decider, right? And in actual reality, it's not. Mm. But if if Liverpool win, I think they win the title. If City win, I think they win the title. Is, is, is am I being too simplistic here or not? I think so. If he was in Spain, you you'd be right. But we're in the Premier League where the bottom team at any given moment can beat the top team. It's the only league in the world where that happens regular. Norwich could turn a performance in and beat someone. They can't beat Liverpool. It happens. They Newcastle, look, have come... The, this league is a tough league and you've got to respect every team. But I can't and you see, can lose. If you're not at the races, you can lose right, to anybody. But, but, but right now, but right now, I can't see Liverpool losing to anyone. I can't, but it happens. But I can see City dropping points at the moment. Can you? Yes, I can. How? How are they? Go on, picture it in your head. How are they losing the game? No, not losing. What happens no, in no, the game? But dropping points between now and the end of the season. Yeah, but what happens in the game? They miss sitters or well, what, they, what? The teams defend and Liverpool blow Catch teams. Catch them at... on the break. It's happened recently, think? isn't it? They've, they've dropped points. Yeah, I can't, I can't, you, dropped, you, they, it will happen, obviously. Well, but so I they, can't... Dropped, they dropped points against Palace not that long ago. Yeah, I know it does happen. Southampton. I know it does happen. But you, you, you try and you think to yourself, that won't happen again. You know, they just they're that good. Um, I, Liverpool I, could get beat. You could catch Liverpool on the break and get a lucky day in off the post penalty. I, uh, for me, this is red card. Of a draw. Red the, card. Of course, refereeing decisions, a, a piece of a, a bad decision, a, a goalkeeping error, all those sort of things. Of course, that can change the game. But right now, I, I, I think that Liverpool. If this is a draw, I don't think it's a bad result for both. A draw. I don't. No, th- I don't. It's, it's not. a bad result. We had a Liverpool fan phoning midweek saying it's a, that if if Liverpool don't win it, it's over. I don't agree with that. I think right now, I think the momentum is slightly with Liverpool. Um, yeah, slightly with Liverpool because because of the the way they've played. They're, they're in, in particular at the moment picking up points when they look, they've not played particularly well last year. They didn't play particularly well against against Watford. 1-2-0. Didn't play particularly well midweek against Benfica. 1-3-1. One, one. So they're, they're, Liverpool are doing what good what the, those, the, the best teams at this stage of the season do. Don't play particularly well, yet manage to find a way to win games and actually win them quite comfortably. I don't quite see that with City at the minute. I don't quite see that. Well, the different styles. Both teams' different style of football. Man City play from the back. They play off the back players. Liverpool play off the front players. So Liverpool it direct killer passes. They, they move the ball forward quicker to hurt yeah, quicker. They, yes, they, they play the ball forward for for the three front players who are lightning quick, really strong, hard to knock off the ball, and they actually think quick. Mm-hmm. So when you've got that combination, they think quick, they run quick, and they're strong. It's really difficult to stop them. And if they get the right ball early. You see Jordan Ensign, sometimes he gets the ball played from Trent inside to him. He just flips it in behind the back four. Yep. They've got three runners. Yep. You know, the hardest job, I, you know, I've managed football teams and I've played that system, 4-3-3, three, three, and, and it's the same old story every club you manage. Your wide players keep coming towards the ball and you keep telling them, run forward without the ball. Otherwise, we're playing in our, in our half for, for 90 minutes. You've got yeah. to turn the back four around. But, it, but you get out of breath when you do that. You get out of breath. It's hard work running in behind without the ball, especially when it don't come. But I, I look at Marnie. I mean, have you noticed he's never out of breath, Marnie? Every time the camera goes on him, he's got the same face. He's run the length of the pitch, got tackled, wins a header, gets up off the floor. Mm. No, or Salah. Have you ever seen Salah with his hands on his knees? Out they, of breath. They, they never, they the never, two of them. Yeah, They're like I, machines. I, I, yeah. And then now you've got Diaz, who's like How Diaz? similar to the pair of them. How good is Diaz right now? Oh, and then you've got Jota. So when Trent Arnold's firing balls across the box and Robertson, if you wanted to have a bet who's going to get on the end of the cross, the smallest man in the box normally, isn't Jota. It ama- isn't it amazing? For me, you know, now, when you look at that Liverpool front five, five? 
You got Firmino, you got Origi. Yeah, yeah so, um, I don't so put Origi, Origi for me is not in the plan now. I don't have Origi in this picture. If everyone's fit, he's not in no, there. No, if everyone's fit, he's not getting a game. He's not. He's, he, he's me, actually had good moments for Liverpool, but, you, but he's not good if enough. If you go back 18 months to two years ago, most Liverpool, in fact, not all Liverpool fans, would tell you that he was the link between midfield dropping deep drawing defenders out laying those balls in making Salah and Mane getting on their bike and it worked brilliantly since Jota's come in he's gone he's, he can't find his way in and since um, Diaz has come in he's had another dimension to it so he's been pushed right to the back of the pack at the minute Origi no Fabinho For, yeah yeah well yeah but he's he's class isn't he he's, he's touch but he can't he, he can't get in he can't in, get in in Liverpool's best team even if you're making a sub he doesn't get in for me he won't bring it... Well, it all depends what type of game he, you're playing. I mean, if you want to play the ball around the box into people's feet, his touch is unbelievable. It is. His first touch and his awareness of people who are, who are sliding in behind, real tight little runs, and Salah comes inside, pokes it into him, and he gets a layoff with the right pace on it in the right area, and Salah gets on the end of it. Mane's the same, so he's brilliant at that. Jota is not so good at that. But he actually gets on the end of crosses. It, it's unbelievable in the air. He's not. Yeah. He's not big. He's not the biggest lad. He's no, your, but he, Michael Owen used to score your, a lot of headers. Is, is your kind of height? Well, how he's five five nine. You no, know, you're not five uh, nine with these shoes on. How, I'm five ten. 